Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I'm back to share with you some layered rosette embellishments that I created and I made a ton. <laughs> I was totally inspired by Brittany Pocek here on YouTube. She created some layered rosettes last year in like a pastel Halloween theme and they were so cute. So yes, I was totally inspired by her. I'll leave a link down below to the video so you guys can go check her out. But let's get started. These are actually part of a bigger project as well. I made three embellishment books and I will share those in a separate video. I made some other embellishments that kind of go along with it that are super cute and I'll share those in a separate video. But um, yeah, let's get started. So I used the Sizzix Thin Lits die, the Tim Holtz one. I love this die set. So here's the, the dies. So I started with that. A lot of the embellishments are just from everywhere. I gathered up all my stuff and I just kind of went to work <laughs> and I usually struggle with layering but these were so much fun to make because I, I feel like I have so much Halloween stuff and so I just pulled a lot of the stickers and things out and just started layering so anything that I can link I will and if you have any questions on anything that I use just ask and I will let you know where I got it um, pretty much all of them I use this die here from AliExpress and I got this probably a year or two ago I've had this for a little bit so I use this die a lot and but what I did was I cut the edges off so they kind of the spider webs oops, look like that and I think they just layered nicely I also used a lot of that Dollar Tree tool the spider web one and I just cut out the spider webs and I just made them different sizes. Some of them I layered and went from there. And I have uh, four different colors of this tool trim, which you'll see. This paper collection, I use the uh, Midnight Haunting from AC Digitals, and I believe it's a Pebbles collection. So I downloaded it, I purchased it, I downloaded it, and then I printed it out. And I love the way my printer prints the uh, digital collections that I purchased. I mean, I just everything's so vibrant and pretty and I just love it so they're not too chunky but I mean for me it's like the right amount of chunk because I want people to be able to use them um, I, I don't want them to be intimidated and not use it so I mean I created them for them to use as like bag toppers or whatever they want to use it for so yeah so here you can kind of see what I did um, a lot of the stickers I mean I just had in my stash forever I couldn't even tell you where I got a lot of this stuff um, because I've just had it for so long like the Tim Holtz well actually I can't I guess I can huh Tim Holtz um, little word stickers um, this is from Aliexpress I got that last year <clears throat> excuse me I'm losing my voice here um, a lot of the stuff you may recognize from Target Dollar Tree whatever now with these wooden or not wood these chipboard pieces I went around it with uh, like a black marker, but I just think it looks so finished with the edges in black. And I just use a black marker. I don't even see it in front of me right now. It's just a black marker. <laughs> Here's the first set using the Midnight Haunting collection. And I just die cut out a, um, a tag to for my backer. So love that. And then here's the next one. So pretty here again those target chipboards love those this is a bread that I got from where did I get this from Tuesday morning and I believe it was part of that midnight haunting collection which I had never even seen paid attention to anything <laughs> um, but I had it in my stash and apparently I fell in love with the paper when I saw it on the website on AC digital so I'll link that down below as well so that's that and then here's the last one. Now I do have a set that's already in the embellishment book. So when I show you that, I will, um, you'll see those. But here again, I love this one. This is a die from AliExpress that I got, I don't know, maybe two years ago. Um, some of these stickers are from the Spellcast collection. Uh, Michael's, Target, Chipboard. This is from Dollar Tree. I just used some little, I think these little dies. There's more that come in this nesting set. I think 
I don't know if it was Alina craft or whatever, but I know I got this from AliExpress. So I'll link those, but those kind of worked perfectly. But yeah, so that's those. And then I had a bunch left over as well. I'll show you those real quick. So I have this one that didn't make it. <laughs> this is like a little pumpkin, uh, foam pumpkin. And I just layered some stuff on top of it. I really like the way that that came out. Here's another one that didn't make it. This is from AliExpress. This one here came out really cute. Little chipboard from Target. Again, you can you can really see here. I think it just blends really nicely with the the black along the side. And then this one here. This is another piece from Ali. This pumpkin is from that Target chipboard bucket from last year. And I just like layered some stuff on top of that. So that's the extras. And man, I'm losing daylight. I was really hoping to get this video out before the sun went down. But it's going down. It's going down quick. <laughs> All right. So this next uh, set or collection <laughs> is the bewitched collection this is also a digital download because i don't have the physical paper but like i said i love the way my printer prints sometimes i think it my printer prints look better than the original paper i don't know so this is the bewitched collection it's from echo park and i uh, purchased this one from snap click supply but so these are some of the embellishments Super cute. I did a bunch of layers on this one. Like I said, they're they're chunky for me. They're not like super chunked up, but it's the right amount of chunk, I guess. Super cute. Love that set here. This came from AliExpress last year. This little ghosty is a die cut or a die, uh, yeah, a die uh, that I got from Ali I think last year. So these are some of the stickers from the um, Beautiful Nights collection. I wanted to make another embellishment book using that collection, but I just ran out of time. So, but I did use some of the puffy stickers. So that's those. This one here, oh, I love it. So cute. So you can see the bewitched uh, paper in the back. So this is like a whole little witchy theme. I kind of ruffled up some of that that trim or not the trim the tool and stuck that behind so each one is totally different these are the wood pieces from uh, Dollar Tree from this year there's that webbing or that yeah that spider web die of course those cute little spiders from Michaels these bows are super cute I just got them from AliExpress so I'll be able to link those um, and I just put that over top of this little foam sticker from Dollar Tree. I love this set. I think this is probably one of my favorites. Love that one. And then here's this one. These are the wood pieces from Dollar Tree. And I actually used um, gel nail polish for these. My own gel nails. So I have the light and, you know, all the gel polish. But... So yeah, so that's what I did. Painted it black. Um, I used my little my gel polish. This was actually the color that I had on prior to this. And then I went over top of it with uh, the top coat that I you know normally use for my nails. Like I said, it was it was easy, and I think they came out so cute. And they're kind of like give you a little bit of dimension, but they're super super sparkly and shiny. And I had fun making those. This is a chipboard piece from Target. So that's that one. And then the last one from this set is this one here. So I really like the way they came out. Like I said, layered some more of that foam on top of the uh, resin and the that little boo. This one came out really cute too. So that is that for the Bewitched collection. And, you know, it's after Halloween, so I'm like, should I even send this stuff out? I mean, 
I don't know. I'm still, I mean, I'm going to send, send it out, but I don't know if I'm, if I should send all of this stuff because I just feel like, I don't know. I'm ready to start working on Christmas and yeah, I don't know if I should send all this stuff out. I guess, I mean, I made it, so I'll send some of it. <laughs> all right. So this last set is using the DCWV. Uh, Happy Halloween collection that I got from Joann's. So let me just adjust here a little bit. There we go. And so again, I just used a bunch of things from here, there, everywhere. These came from Target. I mean, not Target. Um, AliExpress. Those are super cute. I got those last year. I got these this year. But I love the hollow in this collection. Love, love, love that. Some stickers and die cuts. These stickers came from Target this year. So that's that set. And then this one here. I used those bottles from Michael's this year. And that little Hocus Pocus. That's really cute. Also a sticker from Michael's. I don't know if I mentioned this, but on most of my rosettes, I normally stickle them. So, um, let's see. I have any extras. Yeah, I do. So after I die cut them, put them together, I'll go over them with stickles just to give it a little extra shine. And for this one, I use the Stardust, which is probably my favorite collection or collection. My favorite stickles to use for doing these rosettes. So they, they do take me a while because I stickle them and, you know, it takes a while to do all that. Plus, I always cut out like a thousand of them. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that one. And here's this one. This one came out super cute. Again, those stickers from Michaels. And yeah, so these were so much fun to make. I, I mean, obviously, I just couldn't stop making them. <laughs> here's this one. This is super cute. This is a sticker. Actually, both of those are from uh, Target this year. And this little uh, web, the black one underneath is from Tuesday morning. I think I shared that in a haul. And these, I don't know where I got these stickers from. Probably Dollar Tree. But that set came out cute as well. And then the last one is this one here. So again, layered a bunch of stuff. This is one of those rings from... Um, well, the bottom piece here is from that chipboard from Target. And then on top, uh, you can kind of see that that's those rings from, I want to say Dollar Tree. But I pulled off the gem that normally comes with it. So here's the gem. I popped that off and I used one of my own um, little bling pieces. So that came out kind of cute. These are some rings that I got from Target, I want to say last year. So I just used that, and I thought it was cool because it was a different color than the black. Again, another little piece from uh, AliExpress. So I know it's a lot, you guys, right? I made a ton of these, but hopefully you guys find some inspiration. Um, like I said, I had a ton of fun making these, and I hope the recipients like them. I hope you guys like them. Please let me know what you guys think. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for the rest of the little series. Not, it's not even a series. The rest of the videos that I'm going to upload um, that kind of correlate and go along with uh, these embellishments and the embellishment book that I made. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.